Okay, let's start. Hi, uh, everyone, and welcome to the Reading Web School, some school today. I am honored to give this lecture on multimodal knowledge discovery with Professor Zhang from Zhejiang University. And uh, we know that we are now living in a web of um, all kinds of data. And what we call it is uh, uh, multimodal data. And therefore, how to discover uh, knowledge from this multimodal data, including the uh, representation, uh, modeling, uh, extract, knowledge extraction or discovery, and the knowledge completion, and uh, the application based on this multimodal knowledge has gradually become a very hot topic in both the uh, academy and the industry. And uh, uh, today's talk is about uh, four part, and we want to show you uh, mainly about the uh, multimodal knowledge graphs, and uh, uh, I will give this part uh, uh, about uh, 35 minutes, and uh, the multimodal knowledge discovery mainly, uh, and the uh, about the uh, knowledge multimodal pre-trained language model is introduced by the Professor John, and. Uh, the, the, the third part is about the, some multimodal knowledge raising or inference, and also you know, provided by the Professor John. And the last part, uh, I will pro provide you about the, the challenge and the future direction or opportunities about the multimodal researching and applications. Uh, will take our uh, 35 minutes. So let's start. And the first thing I want to ask you all. Uh, to think about this question, what is the multimodal knowledge? And, uh, and before you answer this question, uh, uh, let me give you four examples to uh, uh, to give you a sense of real multimodal data and the knowledge in our daily life. Uh, the first case is the, uh, the, the, the weather forecast. Uh, 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 this is the weather forecast about Nanjing. Uh, I'm in Nanjing now. And uh, uh, you can we can intuitively uh, know the the relative weather information of Nanjing from uh, just a simple sentence and uh, uh, in nature language, yeah. And in addition, uh, in addition, we also have other knowledge about the book, about the weather information. For example, we have the spoken and uh, visual knowledge, yeah, and we can see this these photos and these videos and we can learn things by the uh, by the outcome and about the 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 weather and uh, the next knowledge is uh, is the symbol and the tem temperature knowledge and we can see this information in our uh, mobile phone and the next we also have some uh, uh, special knowledge such as uh, that gesture and uh, a linguistic knowledge about the weather and uh, the last is we have also some we, we have also other uh, such as geography knowledge it is very professional in the uh, knowledge and uh, the weather specific knowledge and uh, so we can see we or just for the the weather information we have many uh, different kinds of data about and the knowledge about this weather and the Next uh, example is an interesting example. We know that the the living uh, living commerce or uh, living streaming in the in the TikTok or some other e-commerce platform, you, especially in China, it has become very popular in recent years. Uh, it is it almost swept almost the uh, all the e-commerce platform and. Uh, uh, a living stream of well no um, person or outcome um, can sell billion of euros in in a net and it, it is really amazing and in this sense we can see that the product is very uh, also have different kind of knowledge knowledge and uh, and if this is uh, this product is really good, we can see that the the the, the people or the the Hong Kong usually have fixed body language, and, and body language, yeah, yeah, and uh, gesture or facial expression knowledge, and uh, uh, the the audience, yeah, yeah, the audience will express knowledge uh, by their uh, by 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 their comments and during the dialogue, and. Uh, 
Uh, there are also some specific knowledge such as the uh, the, uh, the the shape of the the product. Uh, yeah, and uh, some studies have shown that the different packaging of the the sh different packaging shape of the different uh, product have actually ha have has the impact of the sales. Yeah. And uh, we have also some uh, the domain specific knowledge about the, the, the software or the, or, or the app itself, such as the, the number of legs or uh, the, uh, the, 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 different, uh, uh, the different way of com communication about the user, uh, about the user or audience and the, uh, the outcome. Yeah. And this is the second knowledge uh, example. And uh, uh, the, the, actually, I want to spa, uh, spend a, a little more time about forking this example. This, this is a, a, an example of London in the Wikipedia. And we can see that there, there is visual knowledge and there is uh, the text knowledge and there is the uh, structure, the knowledge, usually the 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 knowledge in our real kg yeah and uh, you will you will find that uh, if you if you took uh carefully at the each characteristics of this uh, different knowledge and you can see that each of them have uh, has its own advantages for example and uh, from the photos we can of the london we can directly uh, see the uh, the build Beautiful sensory of the the, the, the city, and uh, from the map of the um, uh, uh, London, we can intuitively get the general location of the London in the Europe. Yeah, and however, it is difficult for us to to use this the the text or the structured knowledge to make the, uh, the 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 visual information intuitively understand this concrete information and. Uh, uh, however, the structured knowledge has also has its own uh, advantages. For example, um, maybe um, about the population of the, the city, and uh, we know that the the London is about uh, eighty million people, yeah, in this city, and uh, we can just use only a triple, one triple, in the KG in our KG, we can show the people the, about the information of the London, but uh, it is very difficult to to ex express uh, the, uh, the the population information of the, the London with a photo. Yeah. And, uh, the next uh, example is about the, uh, the news website and the e-commerce website. We can see that uh, in today's news website, uh, we usually use uh, uh, visual and of all pictures or video and uh, the the structure the knowledge and uh, the initial language knowledge to to in uh, in one article and and uh, uh, for for product in the e-commerce website we can see that uh, we also have the uh, the, the the pictures and the the struct knowledge and the uh, text knowledge and uh, similar to the example of the London uh, just now uh, and the photos can show us the uh, appearance of the Christmas tree and the key information or the, the attribute attribute information in the struct knowledge can let us know the, the weight of the, the tree eh? and and uh, uh, also, so and uh, the the comments from the, in the nature language information we, we from the users or from the uh, the, uh, the the bearers and we can uh, infer that the, the the product is good or bad yeah and uh, so so just for for example give us the 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 some uh, the what what kind of multi multi model information or data and knowledge in our daily life, and the next I want to give us some definitions. And in the Wikipedia, multi model is the application of the multi uh, in interfaces with one medium. And the knowledge we, we we can also find the definition in the Oxford Dictionary. Yeah, the knowledge is about the facts through. So the experience or education and the systematical and practical understanding of a subject. And we can conclude that the, the multi-model knowledge is an awareness or an understanding of someone or something in the different uh, multi-modalities. And uh, so 
the next question I want to ask is why we need multimodal and uh, reasoning. And uh, uh, first, of all, I want to, to show you some cognitive and knowledge graph perspective tips. And uh, uh, the uh, from the from the cognitive theory and the uh, it's it is about two system the the neural system and the uh, symbolic system and uh, and the neural system is mainly used for the unstructured test and uh, it is usual and and to end models and such as motion translation and uh, uh, speech recognition and uh, simple question answering and such as give give a simple question what well, how tall is your mean and this is the neural system may usually can help us to find the answer and uh, the um, the symbolic system uh, such as the uh, the circle and the uh, rdb uh, and uh, some other uh, system built on the structured uh, structured data this 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 system can help us to answer more uh, complex questions uh, such as the uh, what's the mother of the Yaoming's daughter or what does why does the unity unity state important the coffee when it is a major uh, uh, agricultural uh, importer yeah export yeah so but uh, they have same same feature is that uh, we will get the input question and uh, we we got the uh, we have the goal answer yeah so so yeah the from the knowledge graph perspective we know that uh, the neural uh, system are powerful for some problems and uh, are robust to the data noise and uh, hard to understand but but they are hard to understand and uh, explain and uh, uh, they are poor and uh, some um, uh, small uh, simple ma manu manipulation and uh, uh, they are unclear how to use the background or the background knowledge but the symbolic knowledge system uh, and the system two are uh, usually poor uh, to solve the machine learning problems and uh, uh, they are poor to the data noise and but they are easy to understand by by human and good at the manipulation and uh, they can fully use our background knowledge so the symbolic and plus the neural we will get the perfect model and we can see uh, it, uh, the multi model graph may be we use some neural systems technique or models and we also use some symbolic models and uh, techniques uh, th this is the uh, uh, from the cognitive and the symbolic or neural theory about this question and uh, uh, next we can give you uh, we can give we give you some application view the first thing is multi-model knowledge can uh, prov provide us um, more cross multi-model more, more cross model relations and we will get more details and more answers the uh, the first example is the uh, the a picture about the yawning and the magrady uh, of the houston rockets will uh, visit visit his beijing in uh, 2004 and uh, um, if we can find this ma many uh, multimodal entities in this picture such as migrating yawning and we can find some uh, bus cable and uh, we can find the rockets on kong and we can find the the, the, the uh, what kind of shoes they uh, they have and we found find some uh, buildings in this picture actually we can if we have this multimodal knowledge we can uh, recommendation people about the the shoes or the bus cable uh, in uh, e-commerce website we can also help help users to learn more about information about these these two people and actually uh, actually in in about three years ago the being uh, web searching search engine have already done this problem uh, but we can see um, in, if we upload this this picture to Bing, and we will find the three uh, people can detected by this uh, the the being, and, uh, and it is same as it is this, this relator is 
is correct. And if we if we uh, move our focus to the spe specific item of the, some such as the clothing or shoes, and uh, it also help us to uh, to 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 suggest uh, some similar items or or pictures about the shoes. And uh, um, but uh, I don't think this problem, this system, this system uh, do uh, good enough. Maybe in uh, maybe we can use this system to uh, uh, use this use this picture about map um, about information is that uh, uh, the 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 Magrady and uh, the uh, the year is two thousand and four uh, and. Uh, it he is a basketball uh, superstar, and we can find a, a, sim, a interesting information is that uh, uh, this shoe is the T Mac Five signature uh, sneakers shoe, and uh, maybe in the red part we can recommend recommend the users uh, two kinds of things. The first is some basketball shoes is 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 wet. And uh, the uh, another information is uh, some uh, T Mac Five shoes in different uh, colors, such as uh, the uh, maybe a blue or or golden, yeah. And uh, but this is in, in requires the the multi model knowledge uh, extraction or discovery or a multi model knowledge graph behind this the search engine. And uh, the next thing is that across, if we have the multi-model KG or multi-model knowledge discovery technique, and we can do some uh, disambiguation between different different multi-model uh, information, because we know that uh, uh, actually many information are uh, related in semantics. And uh, first, uh, and, uh, con continue our example, and uh, this is. Uh, 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 facial detection by Chinese uh, company Tencent, and uh, we can use if we upload this inform uh, this picture to the system, we can get the result. Is the first one is Yao Ming? It's one hundred percent correct. And the the next one is, is Will Smith. And uh, uh, actually, we know that the the facial detection system has already. Uh, uh, learning by um, many many of data, and uh, but the result is still have some error data, error result, and uh, maybe uh, from from a Chinese, I find that uh, maybe Matt Tracy and uh, Smith is really looks same uh, similar, and uh, but uh, if we have a, a multi modal knowledge graph behind this uh, detection system, can we imagine that? Uh, we can locate the the first one is Yao Ming, but uh, just uh, when we compare the the, the uh, this black guy is 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 Tracy or Smith, we can just simply cal calculation the 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 length uh, of the path the the path in the knowledge graph because we, we believe I believe that the 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 Tracy in the knowledge graph is close to Yao Ming. Uh, compared to the where we, we can uh, modify this result, and uh, uh, in this in this example, I, I know the uh, I want to to show that uh, this is the the uh, the KG information or or text information help to uh, to do some visual entity disambiguation, but uh, the next one is the visual information help to, to do the textual entity disambiguation. Uh, the, this example is about the uh, super, uh, superstar or singer uh, Liu Huan in China. And uh, this example uh, is he is visiting to the US and uh, was met by some fans in the supermarket and uh, he, he bought some uh, bread and uh, sand for the fans. But uh, if you uh, if we want to link link this Liu Huan to uh, entity in the uh, Chinese KG, we can find a lot of uh, Liu Liu Huan is is a, 
a general name in Chinese, in China, and uh, so many famous people about uh, called Liu Huan, and uh, actually, uh, uh, we can't. We, we, it is very difficult to do this uh, this ambiguation, and um, and uh, maybe for me, for me, uh, for me, and the Liu Huan uh, compu com computer scientist in in the U.S. maybe uh, should be linking this text, but if we have the multimodal knowledge and in our KG. And uh, just uh, we can see that the the singer has usually uh, one hat, but this this guy maybe have little uh, hairs, so we can easily do the text uh, disaggregation by the visual knowledge. So, uh, what is the multimodal knowledge graph? And uh, from history, we can see that. Uh, uh, in two thousand two, in two thousand four, and uh, the this paper is about the uh, uh, labeling images with a computer game, and people will provide some some uh, some, some label data with with, with this system, and uh, or the, the it is really uh, really helpful for uh, for collecting some uh, information, uh, semantic information or text information for a picture. And uh, in 2002, uh, 2008 and 2009, we can see that some, some researchers has uh, uh, applied the linked data or RDF principles to the multimedia uh, fragments. And uh, uh, in two years later, the a very famous a very famous data set called the ImageNet is by Li Feifei in Google uh, has has constructed, and uh, I think it is uh, we we know that it actually uh, uh, built on the backbone of the WordNet and the and the, in two thousand and uh, uh, thirteen and the another another paper uh, called New and the Image Knowledge Manner was. Uh, Provided by Google, by Google, uh, maybe it in by Google and uh, and the uh, actually the the main contribution is that uh, uh, discover the common sense from the uh, some pictures and the, and uh, in the uh, uh, two thousand and fifteen and uh, Eddie Hogan pro, uh, construct image imagepedia and uh, it is from the semantic web formats and uh, it provides some uh, pictures uh, features of it, such as uh, uh, the visual features in these data sets and in 2020 and uh, we know that, we know that the many multimodal knowledge graph has uh, proposed such as mmkg and the richpedia and uh, so the professor uh, Daisy John has given some definition about uh, to the multimodal uh, knowledge graph. Uh, she uh, told us that the node and should be ex extended to the image entity and the text entity and the visual concept and the uh, textual concept. And the relation is, con is about uh, uh, they, con they focused on the Cross modal relations and such as has visual object or uh, co take uh, co located with, and uh, based on this definition, and uh, uh, they provide they give us some challenge and how and some ways to how to construct a multimodal knowledge graph, and the the main way is uh, we we first construct the text graph from the construct nature language information and we construct another graph called the sense graph from the visual or pictures and we align to two kinds of graph and can call the multimodal knowledge graph and based on this multimodal knowledge graph we can do some applications such as the, the, the question answer or common sense discovery and if, if you are interested in this, in this work you can read the, the, the paper and uh, um, based on the, uh, the, 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 the just uh, now the technique and the Li Man Lin professor uh, construct the Jia uh, and the system and in this in this system they introduced the event detection and the event summary or uh, or 
but the visual entity link and uh, visual entity instruction technique in this in this uh, system, and uh, um, this is this system is about the uh, cyber security and uh, uh, and uh, a really useful in uh, application. And uh, another work is about multimodal graph is uh, they use is the recommendation system, and uh, this is uh, Professor Swin's work and. Uh, uh, they have in, in introduced some pictures in the general or uh, core knowledge graph and and uh, encoding these visual, visual features in their recommendation uh, system models or algorithms. And another work is about the uh, Li Zhuang's professor in Qinghua. They have also do, do a system using the multimodal knowledge graph in the in a tourist the recent uh, uh, website and the recommendation system. And in the so software engineering and some multimodal knowledge graph also have, have been proposed. And uh, in, this, in this paper, they have uh, done a text graph, image graph, and a code graph. And they align to three kinds of graph and they, def define, they, they give some definition about the uh, the code schema and the, the, this gra graphs concept and uh, um, based on this they can detect some deep learning papers and codes and uh, do some analysis and uh, another another topic is about the uh, recently really hot is about the multimodal entity alignment and uh, we can see that the first the, the first paper is the MLKG in ESWC and the, another interesting paper is uh, by the Xu Tong's paper and uh, it is the KSEM 2020 best paper and uh, uh, they have constructed a very useful uh, data set for our for us to do some research and uh, another work is about the the personal recommendation or personal not graph construct in from the Twitter based uh, life logs. Uh, this this paper is by some people uh, by some researcher in Taiwan's team, and uh, um, I will, I want to show show interesting opinion from the uh, Dongxin scientist in uh, may, mainly uh, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know if she is living now, and uh, but uh, this, this opinion is really interesting, and uh, I want to say that, that maybe the no multimodal knowledge graph and the the general knowledge graph the relationship is just showing this picture, and in the first maybe the multi the general knowledge graph have some multimodal information, and maybe uh, by the time passing and the they have some inter intersection, but in finally maybe the multimodal knowledge graph is including the general knowledge graph and. Uh, uh, now I want to show some our Martin Martin Modano graphs work, and uh, uh, the first thing is that we enhance the 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 knowledge graph or the general knowledge graph. We uh, we linking many images and visuals, or even the, some videos in the text entity in the in the general KG, and uh, uh, this part we do do. Uh, five things. First, we do the data collection from the wiki, being Google, Yahoo's uh, for our for for uh, for the image collection, and uh, we also have some uh, benchmark knowledge case uh, knowledge base, and the and we mainly focus on the set city and people, and we do some image processing, and uh, we first uh, do the. Uh, visual casting, and uh, we want to find the uh, the uh, the picture make make it make them uh, diversity, and uh, we provide the visual features, and uh, we will uh, next we define some uh, class model relations, mainly focus on the visual relation ontologies, and we do the relation discoveries, and finally you can see uh, we construct a, a Wikipedia. Data sets, and uh, you can try it. 
And uh, the next next thing is the, based on the, the knowledge graph, uh, multimodal knowledge graph, we do some visual relation detection and uh, cross model entity leaking. And uh, for the real, uh, visual relation detection, and uh, we focus on the unbalanced and the long tail issues uh, during this process. And uh, we know that the visual relation detection is for a picture and. Uh, um, for example, and we can find the relation is people on the multi circle and the people wear the hamlet and the multi circle have a wheel. And uh, you can see some uh, interesting papers uh, such as the V trans E and uh, uh, language pills is is uh, inspired by the uh, trans E work in the knowledge graph research and. Uh, and the people usually use some uh, statistical information to const to construct a sense graph or do the visual relation detection. And our work in our work we use the um, we use the me method called the memory features to uh, do some uh, transfer learning and uh, with uh, to solve to solve the long tail visual relation detection and. Uh, uh, our model achieve uh, evident improvement in almost uh, about the our uh, relations in the data sets. And uh, after the ratio relation detection, we can do some uh, class model entity linking. And uh, uh, it, it is called from the classes to the entities in a picture. And uh, uh, I will show you the first is the enhanced KG, and the next we found the person stand next to the person. And uh, the final step is we will find the Yao Ming stand by or stand next to the Tracy McGrady. And uh, to achieve this goal, we first uh, feed the model about the image and caption and uh, the general KG. And we do some feature extraction and such as a visual feature extraction and uh, the text feature and the KG feature. And we will uh, feed all the features and uh, concrete concrete them to a visual entity linking model. And we do some often trainings and do a ranking system. And finally, we can do the, this is our result. We can see that uh, from the, the, the second step, we will only find the man beside the man and the man hold the boy. But in the final step, we can mm -hmm. link the all of them to the our knowledge graph and we can we can finally uh, do uh, achieve the 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 Yao Ming have uh, has beside the uh, is beside the the tracing McGrady. And the next part is the the multimodal knowledge graph, uh, knowledge graph or knowledge discovery. And uh, the professor Zhang will uh, give the, you this part. And thank you. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Ning Yu Zhang from Zhejiang University, and uh, I'm very honored to have the opportunity to uh, give this talk with uh, Professor Wang. Uh, and uh, Professor Wang has already introduced a lot of uh, yeah, lots of work about a multimodal knowledge graph, and uh, uh, here I will talk to introduce some uh, multimodal knowledge discovery. Okay, let's start with a uh, knowledge discovery from test. And uh, nowadays, with the development development of the internet, a uh, large volume of uh, natural language test is being generated uh, by users uh, such as uh, Twitter's. Uh, search queries and uh, lots of social media posts. And uh, as the unstructured text corpus is very uh, noisy or messy, uh, it becomes uh, imperative to correctly identify and uh, accurately annotate those uh, structured information uh, to obtain some meaningful insights or better understand unstructured text. And uh, on the other hand, uh, the existing structured information uh, which embodies our knowledge, uh, such as entity or uh, concept relations, often suffer from incompleteness or uh, quality-related issues. 
uh, given a collection of texts uh, which offer uh, rich semantic information, it is also very important to harness the massive or unstructured text corpus uh, to expand and refine existing uh, knowledge graphs. And uh, name entity recognition or, or uh, relation extraction are two very important tasks uh, in this talk we will, uh, we, will, we will talk about and for knowledge discovery from test. And for example, uh, given this sentence, uh, Jack is married to uh, the microbiologist known as Dr. Jim in the USA. And uh, uh, the NER or name recognition aims to identify the entities of Jack and uh, uh, Dr. Jim. And uh, the relation extraction uh, aims to extract the relation uh, is spouse off uh, from uh, the sentence. Uh, it's actually a classification task. And the name entity recognition is a sequence labeling task. Okay, and uh, there is all, there's also another Chinese example which aims to extract uh, the entity uh, uh, Zhang Zhidong and uh, uh, Xiao Da and uh, to and identify that the Xiao Da is the uh, attribute of uh, Zhang Zhidong. And uh, in computer vision, uh, there is also a field related to knowledge graph called uh, thin graph uh, thin graph construction, uh, which uh, which refers to the recognition of objects based on uh, further identification of the association between objects uh, to finally construct the thin graph. Uh, there is indeed uh, uh, many many research in this field uh, of computer vision uh, focused on how to obtain knowledge graph data and uh, a large amount of visual data, or use some image data to complete knowledge graphs. And uh, currently, uh, with the rapid development of multimodal learning and uh, multimodal the entity uh, name entity recognition or multimodal NER and uh, multimodal uh, relation extraction methods have been uh, proposed to enhance the, the linguistic representation uh, with the aid of uh, visual clues from images. Uh, it can significantly expand, extend the text-based models uh, by taking images as additional inputs, uh, since the uh, visual context can help to uh, resolve ambiguous uh, multi things words. Uh, uh, Professor Wang has also mentioned this. And uh, for example, uh, given this sentence, uh, the madness outside of uh, Labyrinth House now includes a car crash. Uh, with the image information, uh, the NER model may fail to recognize uh, the Labyrinth is a person. Uh, however, with the visual information, uh, uh, the model can uh, recognize that uh, Labyrinth is a person. And uh, uh, Professor Ji Heng, uh, Heng Ji, and uh, Yang Hua Xiao, and uh, uh, maybe Zhuan Zili, uh, and many, many other teams. Uh, they have already contributed many uh, multimodal knowledge discovery works. Uh, there are also uh, lots of, lots of uh, issues for multimodal knowledge discovery. And uh, uh, due to the time limit uh, in this talk, I will mainly talk about uh, visual uh, representation and uh, multimodal uh, multimodal contradiction, or we call error sensitivity. Uh, as as this in this, in this talk. Uh, the essence of multimodal uh, name entity recognition and uh, multimodal relation extraction task is how to learn uh, great visual features and uh, how to incorporate it into the textual representation uh, for enhancing uh, NER and uh, relation extraction. In practice, uh, irrelevant objects may uh, directly exert the negative effect on the text inference, and uh, it is very important to uh, acquire absolute relevant object uh, level visual information to enhance the test. Uh, so, in, in this talk, I will uh, uh, introduce uh, a work called uh, a Hayako Visual Prefix Fusion Network, or we call HP HBP Net, uh, for visual enhanced entity and uh, relation extraction, uh, which is accepted by uh, findings of DACO 2022. And uh, considering images are often appear uh, before the text uh, on a web document, and uh, we argue that uh, images uh, can be uh, regarded as a prefix or for their textual descriptions, uh, which is also inspired by prompt learning in uh, language model. Uh, specifically, 
uh, giving a image text pair uh, represent the object level image feature sequence or uh, or visual prefix to the text sequence at the at each self tension layer of BERT. And uh, note that the visual prefix is a pluggable uh, operation and uh, don't require any annotation uh, on relevance. Therefore, uh, the visual prefix can not only introduce object level uh, visual signals, uh, but also further reduce the impact on the architecture uh, representing the text. And uh, intuitively, a uh, visual prefix uh, regarded as a prompt for text may help the help to alleviate the error uh, sensitivity or of the irrelevant uh, object images. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, those uh, image re representation networks such as CNN uh, convolution neural network uh, contains uh, the multi-scale information uh, with pyramid feature hierarchy from uh, low to high layer at high levels. And uh, uh, we can we know uh, BERT encodes a rich hierarchy of linguistic information uh, from the bottom uh, to the top. And uh, note the uh, objects of different sizes uh, can have appropriate uh, feature representations at the corresponding uh, scales. Uh, so uh, we propose to make each layer of BERT aware of hierarchy multi-scale uh, visual features uh, to make a more in enlightened and uh, comprehensive uh, forecasting decision. And given an image, uh, we follow a previous work to detect uh, the uh, visual grounding to, uh, to toolkit to, for extracting their local visual objects with a uh, top silence. And then uh, we, uh, we scale the global image and uh, object image uh, to 224 uh, times 224 pixels at the global image and uh, visual objects. And uh, uh, we encode them with a backbone, uh, such as a ResNet, and uh, we generate a list of pyramid feature maps. Uh, here is F1, F2, F3, F4, uh, with different scales, and we map them with uh, uh, the function M. Then, and uh, because all of these objects of different size can have uh, appropriate feature representations at the corresponding scales, it is still uh, non, not non trivial to decide uh, which block in the visual backbone is assigned a visual prefix for each layer in Transformer. Uh, so, uh, to address this challenge, we propose to uh, construct the uh, densely connected routing space uh, where hierarchy multi scale visual features are connected with each Transformer layer. Uh, we conduct root, uh, root this routine procedure, procedure process. Uh, through a dy 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 dynamic gate module, uh, which can be viewed as a procedure of path decision here. And uh, the motivation of the dynamic gate is to predict a normed vector, which uh, represents how much to exalt the visual feature of each block. And uh, in the dynamic gate, it denotes the path probability from the ice block of visual backbone to the JS layer of a uh, uh, textual transformer. And we firstly uh, squeeze the input feature uh, V from the ice block by an average pooling operation. And then we add this uh, feature from multi multiple blocks to generate the average vectors. And we further reduce the feature dimension with an MLP layer and consider a soft gate via generating continuous values as path probability. And both on this uh, above dynamic gate, we can derive the final aggregated hierarchy visual feature, and you can refer the more technical details in our paper. Then we regard this uh, hierarchical multi scale image feature as a, a visual prefix, and uh, we uh, prepend uh, the sequence of visual prefix to the text sequence at each self attention layer of BERT. Uh, in particular, given uh, sequence, uh, X text sequence X, X1, X2, and Xn. Uh, the contextual reputation is first projected to uh, query a uh, key value. This is very uh, common in transformer layer. And uh, as for the aggregated hierarchy visual features, uh, we use a set of linear transformations for uh, the ice layer to project them into the same embedding space of text representations because uh, the visual and the text may have different, uh, uh, different uh, dimensions. And uh, then we regard uh, these uh, hierarchical multi-scale visual features as visual prefix 
at each fusion layer and uh, sequentially conducted uh, uh, conduct uh, multi-model attention to update uh, all the textual states. Uh, in this way, uh, the final textual states encode both the context and uh, the cross-model semantic information simultaneously, uh, which is beneficial for uh, beneficial to reduce error sensitivity for irrelevant object uh, elements. And uh, these experimental results of HVPNet and uh, all baselines uh, show uh, uh, that our model, we can show that uh, uh, encropping the visual features is generally very helpful for name entity recognition and uh, racial instruction. Uh, compared with this uh, SOTA, we can uh, achieve a very uh, promising performance. And we also uh, find that our model is uh, very superior to uh, the newest SOTA, such as uh, UM, UMGF and uh, MEGA, uh, which have uh, 1.36% uh, 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 or uh, even 10, more than 10% FE score in for the Twitter and the MN uh, IE dataset. And it is worth noting that most of the previous multi model ignores the area sensitivity of uh, irrelevant object level feature uh, images. While our method regard hierarchy visual prefix as a prompt for the test, uh, we also compare with a uh, visual BERT, uh, which is a pre-trained multi-model BERT with a single stream structure. And we notice that uh, even as the pre-trained multi-model model, and uh, visual BERT uh, leaves much uh, to be desired for MIE and uh, MIE uh, multi-model racial instruction tasks. Uh, which performs worse than even worse than M, uh, UMGF and uh, MEJ. Uh, uh, we hold we think that visual BERT uh, is truly uh, dissatisfactory disfact disfact because uh, the data sets and the pre-training uh, pre-training procedure uh, um, maybe maybe they are re maybe they are less relevant. So uh, the Valina pre-trained multi-model pre-trained model may not uh, very suitable for this task. And we also conduct some ablation studies uh, to validate the variation of a model. And uh, uh, for example, we're here is, uh, for example, uh, the core component of model is the visual prefix guided fusion, uh, which is also a pluggable vision. And uh, we uh, conduct some experiments uh, uh, such as uh, HVPNet flat, uh, which assigns single visual features for each layer of BERT. And, uh, uh, HVPNet uh, 1T3, uh, uh, which leverage visual, uh, visual features from lower level to high level, uh, which is a fixed version. And we also observe that uh, our model with hierarchical uh, visual features can uh, attain better performance consistently compared with other uh, variants. And, uh, uh, yeah. and we also uh, uh, further conduct some experiments in low resource settings. Uh, by random sampling uh, the, some some uh, training set from the original training set, and uh, uh, from this figure, uh, we can see that our model uh, in low resource scenario can obtain some uh, somewhat better performance. And uh, it is also uh, it is also it is also it is also demonstrates that uh, this method method can be uh, data efficient. Uh, however. Uh, although this method uh, uh, can obtain better performance, uh, there are some also some other issues. Uh, for example, uh, the architecture, uh, different tasks, uh, uh, because uh, different uh, different uh, uh, multi-model knowledge 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 discovery tasks uh, uh, still have to uh, uh, have to change their model architecture, and specifically these different subtasks such as uh, name entity recognition, uh, rich instruction, they are, they. they uh, have to uh, require a task specific uh, separate uh, parametric uh, fusion model on top of diverse encoder architecture, uh, such as ResNet or we call a uh, fast RCN uh, for the visual encoder. Uh, and uh, BERT, we have to use BERT or word vector for uh, the textual encoder. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, we, if we have a unified uh, model, uh, it is very beneficial uh, to uh, unify all these uh, multi model knowledge discovery tasks. And uh, the the other is still the modality contradiction. Uh, and most uh, most of the multimodal uh, knowledge discovery or knowledge graph construct uh, construction or completion time models uh, largely ignore the noise of encroping irrelevant visual information, which may result in modality contra contra contradiction. So uh, uh, to be specific, uh, in most multimodal knowledge graphs, each entity uh, may possess uh, many associated images. However, uh, uh, some parts of images may be uh, very irrelevant uh, to the entities. Uh, for example, in this figure, 
uh, each entity have uh, has many associated images, but the uh, the third image of the head entity uh, has little relevance to the semantic meaning of uh, Superman returns uh, for uh, some such as link prediction uh, task. And uh, meanwhile, the current sorter model for uh, maybe uh, uh, multimodal name entity representation or multimodal relation extraction tasks usually utilize some uh, valid visual objects by selecting the uh, top silent object with the hardest object uh, uh, classification scores, uh, which may also introduce some uh, very uh, some noise from the uh, noise from the model. So uh, here to overcome these uh, uh, issues. Uh, we further further uh, propose a new model called uh, uh, MKG former uh, based on transformer architecture. Uh, this is the hybrid transformer architecture for a uh, unified uh, multimodal knowledge discovery. Uh, as you in this figure, uh, we uh, propose a unified uh, multimodal knowledge graph uh, knowledge graph uh, completion completion framework, uh, which mainly in includes a hybrid uh, transformer architecture and uh, and task specific and uh, task specific task specific uh, program. Uh, specifically, we uh, adopt uh, the VIT uh, visual transformer architecture and the BERT as the visual transformer and uh, textual transformer models, uh, respectively for uh, respectively and conducted the model and the multimodal representation of the entity across the last uh, LM layers of the transformer. And uh, I will introduce some technical details of this model. Uh, for the visual, for the visual uh, embeddings, uh, we adopt the first uh, LV layers of the VIT to train the, uh, which is to train the from ImageNet as the visual backbone. And uh, we also, uh, for the textual embedding, we leverage the fir uh, first uh, LT layer of uh, a BERT as the textual encoder. And uh, uh, here, and when applying to different tasks, uh, such as uh, multimodal link prediction, uh, we uh, to fully leverage the advantage of between the between the models, such as between the uh, visual models and between the language models. Uh, we design the specific procedure for the link prediction, which is very similar to the pre-training, such as mask language modeling of pre-trained language models. And we uh, we take the first step to model the image task uh, incorporated uh, entity uh, repetitions and uh, uh, predict the missing entities. Uh, over the multimodal entity uh, descriptions, uh, given an entity description and uh, its uh, corresponding uh, multi images, uh, we feed uh, the patched images of the entity into uh, the visual side of the uh, transformer architecture and uh, convert the text side of side input sequence of a uh, hybrid uh, transformer architecture. Uh, actually, we use this uh, this technique to obtain the entity representation. And uh, we extend the word embedding layer of BERT to treat each token embedding as a corresponding multimodal entity representation. Uh, then we can finally treat the entity uh, predict link prediction task as the uh, mask language model task, which is very similar to the uh, pre-training procedure, uh, which we use the entity EH, uh, entity uh, description uh, DEH and the relation R and uh, the entity image uh, to predict the masked tail entity over the multimodal entity embeddings and described in architecture. And uh, when applying to the uh, relation extraction uh, or name entity recognition, uh, we take the representation of the special token CLS from the final output embeddings of the hybrid transformer architecture to compute the probability distribution of the uh, relation set. And for name entity NR, we uh, use the sequence sequence labeling with CRF, and uh, uh, this is technical details. And uh, uh, then we will actually do something how to how our model handle the modality uh, contradiction. And this is inspired by the success of uh, textual prefix tuning. Uh, uh, the cross, uh, we propose a prefix guided interaction mechanism to pre-reduce the modality heterogeneity through the calculation of multi-head attention at each layer, uh, which is performed on the uh, hybrid keys and uh, values here. And uh, we also uh, derived a variation formulation of this equation, uh, which can provide another perspective of prefixed guided uh, into interpolation attention here. Uh, the first term uh, we call MQV, KV, uh, VV is the standard attention in the 
uh, video side, uh, we as the second term represents the cross model interaction. And uh, in this sense, uh, the previous guided uh, interaction mechanism can uh, downweight the original visual attention probabilities by a scalar vector uh, lambda and uh, redistributed the, the uh, remaining attention probability mass lambda to attend to uh, textual attention, which lacks uh, the linear interpretation. And uh, by applying this to the uh, attention flow, uh, attention flow calculation over the hidden visual states and uh, hidden textual states, our model MKG former can learn a uh, cost grade modality fusion to pre reduce the modality heterogeneity. And uh, then uh, to avoid the adverse effects of noise, we further also apply a correlation aware uh, fusion model uh, to conduct the uh, token level, token wise, the cross model interaction, uh, which we, we, we can also uh, uh, list the word, word patch the level alignment between the two uh, modalities, visual and the text text. Uh, specifically, we denote M and N as the sequence length of the visual vectors. Uh, uh, what we compute the similarity matrix of all these visual tokens and uh, textual tokens. And this is also inspired by the finding of FFN learn layer in Transformer, uh, which previous some studies find that uh, uh, the FFN layer can learn some task specific uh, textual patterns. And so we propose this to incorporate a similarity aware aggregated uh, visual hidden states into these uh, textual hidden states in this FFN layer. Here is the FFN layer and the modify these calculation of the FFN. And uh, 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 from the experiments, uh, we can find uh, this uh, with this MKG former, layer, um, former model, uh, we can uh, obtain some uh, obtain a new sorter under this uh, name and recognition and uh, multimodal ratio extraction. Uh, the, uh, especially in for the multimodal ratio extraction dataset, and we further modify this typical pre-trained visual language model, uh, visual bird and uh, a VI bird with CLS classifier for for this multimodal ratio extraction and uh, CF clear for the multimodal name anti recognition task for comparison, and uh, uh, we notice that uh, visual bird and uh, uh, VI bird uh, may perform uh, worse than uh, our model. And we think the poor performance uh, of these uh, pre-trained multimodal models may, uh, may be due to the fact that the pre-trained data set and objects uh, may have some gap to this information extraction or knowledge discovery task. Okay, uh, we further also uh, report the uh, low, resource, low resource performance compared with several baselines in this figure and the tables and uh, uh, we also observe that uh, the, in these load resource settings, uh, MKG former can obtain better performance. And here is a very interesting uh, case study. Uh, we uh, analyze this robustness of our model for error analysis, and we conduct uh, this case study uh, for uh, multimodal regime extraction in, in this table. And uh, uh, these, these attention weights in the prefix guided attention uh, reveal that uh, uh, the MKG former can capture uh, those uh, significant uh, attention between the relevant entities and uh, objects. Uh, this is this is a very interesting finding. And uh, the similarity matrix also shows that the entity representation from uh, our model is uh, more similar to those corresponding object patches. And uh, moreover, it is uh, in this situation the. Uh, image, the, those images represent the, the abstract uh, similar, uh, semantic that is irrelevant to the test. Uh, only our model, uh, maybe some other model may also have the, this, uh, this, 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 and our model can uh, success in this prediction. And uh, uh, maybe we think this, this is because the, this model capture the uh, more uh, right uh, relevant features and uh, more fine grained uh, uh, features. And next, I will introduce uh, a multimodal toolkit, uh, which 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 is a very which is very uh, which is developed by our team, and uh, it it can support low resource document, and especially it can uh, support it has the ability for multimodal uh, multimodal entity and relation relation extraction. Uh, different from this traditional knowledge extraction toolkit, and our uh, this toolkit DeepKE can handle. Uh, more complex uh, real world scenarios and uh, can provide uh, extraction ability for uh, a multimodal, especially multimodal settings. And uh, uh, here is uh, here is uh, uh, here is a demo uh, 
uh, our model can uh, uh, you can you can you can uh, you can you can you can oh you can you can type the uh deep deep dot c g o k g dot uh c n and play our demo and you can this this demo can extract the multi model uh, uh multi model entities and the multi model relations and uh, uh given and given sentence and uh, uh, image uh, or image with objects uh uh the model can the, the demo can extract the entities and uh, the relations between them. And all the codes are open sourced on the GitHub, and uh, it's very it's a useful tool. And uh, uh, to use this deep key is very simple. Uh, it only requires three simple steps. Uh, first, go to the target task folder and uh, use the uh, one line command for model training. And uh, finally, perform the model evaluation. And deep key also supports very uh, custom data sets and uh, automatic hyperparameter tuning. And also, we can support Docker. And moreover, uh, this toolkit is also integrated with many other me me methods such as uh, CNN, RNN, Transformer, also graph convolution networks, and uh, many cutting edge methods such as uh, uh, no prompt document, which, which supports low resource knowledge graph construction, uh, especially uh, no prompt is a, a knowledge informed prompt turning, which can support a uh, few short relation extraction. And the light and is a lightweight light lightweight tuning uh, method for a lower source name entity recognition and the document is uh, document is a document level relation extraction model. And the uh, uh, deep key now has been uh, equipped with uh, comprehensive documents as well as uh, we pro also provide uh, Google Colab tutorials and uh, we also uh, it's, it's, it's welcome to uh, 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 give some issues and we will. Uh, we will support more data sets and uh, more tasks and uh, for multimodal knowledge discovery. Okay, uh, here is uh, here is the multimodal knowledge discovery and uh, uh, let's have a half half an hour break and uh, I will then introduce multimodal inference. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. So we we may have a half an hour break for now. Then we come back. Uh, Europe time is ten forty. So see you soon. Enjoy your coffee. Okay. See you. See you.